This is a story about three orphans named Violet, Klaus, and Sonny Baudler, who are trying to escape Count Olaf, a man who wants their family fortune. They are being driven in a taxi by a woman named Kit Snicket, who is a member of a secret organization called the VFD. After maneuvering a taxi to escape a tailing vehicle, Kit takes the Baudlers to Hotel Denouement, an unusual designed hotel near Pond, to await the arrival of other VFD members. Kit tells the Bodlers about the schism that happened within VFD and how one side fights for good while the other fights for evil. Kit sends the Bodlers, disguised as hotel concierge, to investigate the Hotel Denouement to find the sugar bowl that contains a secret. However, Kit is fearful that the Bodlers will not succeed by the time the rest of the good VFD members convene at the hotel because the hotel is occupied by both good and bad people of which the only way to tell the difference is by observing them. The Bodlers enter the hotel and encounter two hotel managers named Frank and Ernest, twins of which one is good and one is a villain. They explain that the hotel is organized based on the Dewey Decimal System and that the Bodlers are to assist guests with whatever they want whenever the bell rings for them. The Bodlers go their separate ways as concierge with Violet going to the roof and encountering Mrs. Squalor, Count Olaf's girlfriend, and Carmelita, a former bossy classmate, Klaus going to the steam room and encountering Sir and Charles, his old bosses at a lumber mill, and Sonny escorting Vice Principal Nero and two teachers from Proof Rock Prep, a school the Bodlers used to attend. Later that evening, as the Bodlers recap their day with each other, they meet another manager named Dewey, the third sibling of Frank and Ernest, who explains more about the VFD and that all the secret files are hidden underwater in the nearby pond. Just as Strauss, an old friend, and Mr. Squalor, a previous guardian, reunite with the Bodlers at the hotel. However, Count Olaf appears and in the struggle, Dewey is killed by a harpoon. All of the hotel guests hear the commotion and the Bodlers and Count Olaf are locked in hotel rooms to await their proper trial by Justice Strauss and two other high judges. At the trial, everyone is blindfolded and after the opening statements are given, the Bodlers realize that something is wrong as Justice Strauss has been gagged and the two other high judges are the man with a beard and no hair and the woman with hair and no beard, two of Count Olaf's accomplices. The Bodlers try to help Justice Strauss but nobody is willing to remove their blindfold in fear of being in contempt of the court. Count Olaf takes Justice Strauss hostage and the Bodlers follow them to the basement, where Count Olaf attempts to retrieve the sugar bowl. Klaus helps him unlock the door to the room, but the sugar bowl is not there. Violet offers to help Count Olaf by modifying a boat to escape from the roof, and Sunny offers to burn down the hotel as a signal to other friendly volunteers to not come to the hotel the next day. As the Bodlers make their way to the roof, they try to warn everyone that the hotel is on fire. On the roof, Violet makes modifications to the boat for their escape and Justice Strauss stays behind. In the end, Count Olaf and the Bodlers escape on the boat and sail to the open sea as the hotel burns down behind them. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.